Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to McAdies Entertainment. I'm your host as always, Adam McGahey. By now, I'm sure most of you are very well aware of the cultural and meme phenomenon that is Spider-Man 3. Being the conclusion to the first live-action Spider-Man franchise, this would be the last time we would see the GOAT Tobey Maguire as the wall crawler. That is, until the long-awaited release of Spider-Man No Way Home, where we saw the King return. While initially met with some rather negative critical reception, Spider-Man 3 over the years has become a cult classic due to nostalgia and, of course, the always evolving Bully Maguire memes. As we know, the climactic third act of the movie saw Spider-Man getting tag-teamed by the joint forces of Venom and Sandman, only to be saved by the raddest thing to come out of 2007, which was Harry Osborn as the new Goblin, where the pair worked together to fight the bloodthirsty villains. The war would end with Harry sacrificing himself to save Peter after Venom would go in for a killing strike. Peter would then remove Eddie Brock from the symbiote and whip one of Harry's pumpkin bombs at the gooey giant, only for Eddie to go back to his thick slimy alien GF and get blown up in the process, resulting in the destruction of the two. After the battle, Peter and MJ would mourn the loss of Harry, Sandman would apologize for unaliving Uncle Ben, and the couple would try to make amends to what happened to them. While this was the original ending for the movie, I came across some interesting information that seems to suggest a much darker and more violent ending to this already somber conclusion. Recently, I was doing some intellectual reading on the ever-intellectual forums of Reddit, where I came across a bizarre and rather terrifying account from one Reddit user called Sonic the Hookschog, outstanding name I know, who claims to have seen an early showing to Spider-Man 3, which featured this dark and twisted ending. I'll be reading the post, so without further ado, grab your finest black suit and boogie, sit back, relax, and enjoy the supposed original horrific end to Spider-Man 3. Based on a true story, I will remember this day and will remember it for the rest of my life. So I was seven at the time, and maybe eight, and my parents won tickets to see a test screening of Spider-Man 3, and they won three tickets. Ironic since the film is literally called Spider-Man 3. Anyway, being the Spider-Man fanboy at the time, and since I loved the first two Raimi Spider-Man movies, I said I wanted to go. Originally, they were going to bring my sister, but since she doesn't like Spider-Man, they decided to bring me. And so they got into the car and drove to the theater. I still remember the smell of salted popcorn and the look of the giant Spider-Man 3 poster on the wall. After a few pictures of me standing at the poster, we ordered some popcorn and a Coke to share between us, so we got into the room expecting to have a great time. The film opened with a disclaimer. This is a screen test, and not the complete film, so the effects may not be finished. You know, typical disclaimers for unfinished films, and it cut to a church, where Eddie Brock was, and the venom goo is falling down to him, and when it touched Eddie, he screamed so loud, and it sounded painful, but he was smiling the whole time when he was in pain. The venom started to cover Eddie's skin, and his skin seemed to be rotting away while Venom was bonding with him. I almost threw up at the sight of him, and my parents didn't look so pleased either. In fact, they looked at me with the, do you want to go look, but I said that I was fine, and continued watching. Then it cut to the final fight sequence, where Venom and Sandman were fighting Spider-Man, and then it was a similar scene to the one in the final film, but only Harry didn't show up to save Spider-Man. Spider-Man somehow was able to get out of the situation by webbing a huge pile of bricks and pulling them down to Sandman, where he fell to the ground in pain. Then Venom tied Spider-Man's hands to two poles and started beating him. But then Spider-Man broke one of his hands free and webbed a pole with a sharp point towards him and used it to stab Venom in the heart. But this triggered the scene that traumatized me as a kid. Venom's face peeled back to reveal a demented looking skull that didn't even look like a human skull anymore. Then Spider-Man dropped the pole in shock 
and looked like he was wondering if he was even fighting Eddie or if this was his deformed corpse this whole time. Then Venom jumped out of the remains of Eddie and turned into a giant black goo creature and then tried to bond with Peter again and Venom was pulling his skin. Peter, thinking fast, saw some metal rods and webbed them and pulled them down which stabbed into Eddie's remains but also triggered a high frequency sound wave that annoyed the entire audience watching this film but it killed Venom. The user then recounts how disturbed he, his parents, and the majority of moviegoers were after seeing this early screening and would even have reoccurring nightmares about what he saw on screen. While this could of course be the work of a person with an overactive and kind of disturbing imagination, there are some prop photos, leaked images, and a toy line that would suggest they may be telling the truth. I did some internet sleuthing and came across this image of the apparent skull that appeared out of the symbiote instead of Eddie's face like in the original film. Not sure how true this is, but it's pretty metal and hey, they obviously take really good care of their teeth. The next is this still frame of the symbiote apparently trying to rebond with Peter in the final battle. I initially thought this was just a picture of him removing the suit earlier in the film but was promptly corrected after watching this scene again because in that scene good old Toby was going commando in this scene and in this image he still has his red Spider-Man suit underneath. This could be photoshopped of course but it is rather convincing and gives some further credence to this story. The next and most convincing pieces that lead me to think this person was telling the truth was from the line of toys promoting the movie. First, there was this figure from the final battle which showed Peter and the symbiote with a jar of black slime. I remember seeing this at Walmart when it first came out, and I'm honestly quite upset I never got it. The slime was the real deal seller to me. While this of course could just be referencing Peter's encounter with the symbiote in this form in the final act of the original movie, there was a variant of this figure that shows Spider-Man partially covered in the black slime doing battle with the alien further adding more truth to that leaked image. The last and most convincing figure is this legit statue of Spider-Man being encased in black slime by the monster, which is titled The Death of Eddie Brock. It's even more interesting since this is called The Death of Eddie Brock and Eddie is nowhere to be found on the figure, giving further evidence that the Reddit user may have been telling the truth of the symbiote trying to bond with Peter after leaving Eddie's deformed skeleton. Whether this is true or not, this absolutely sounds like something that would be within Sam Raimi's wheelhouse. I mean, come on, this dude made Evil Dead for goodness sake. Even the real ending for this movie was quite dark, but what I found most interesting about this was that Harry did not show up to help Peter, meaning that he lived and that we could have seen New Goblin in future projects. More than anything, I would love to know what you think. Did you know this about this supposed ending? Were you one of the lucky ones that got to see this early showing? Do you think we will see Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man again? Sound off in the comments. Also be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed today's content, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the music in this video, it was all made by my boy Agnes you can check out his Spotify in the link below. You can also check out our Discord also in the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember you are awesome and loved. God bless and I will see you in the next one.